Hey what's up everybody, thank you for checking this video. If you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. But even if you don't, enjoy and happy coding! This episode is brought to you by Skysilk. If you're looking for a free Linux-based VPS in the cloud, go to skysilk.com. No strings attached. Just awesome stuff. How to upgrade PHP on NGINX In the previous video, we saw how to quickly install PHP on our VPS and how to properly hook it up to our NGINX server. It's a normal behavior for a DevOps to take care of checking the status of the installed packages and execute updates or upgrades when new versions or important patches are released. Sometimes these updates come with a new version of edited files that need to be overwritten. In this video we're gonna use PHP as an example to learn how to deal with these roadblocks. Let's SSH into our server and let's run the usual sudo apt update command to refresh the packages list. If we run apt list dash dash upgradable, we'll notice that a new version of PHP 7.1 is available. Great, it's time to upgrade by typing sudo apt upgrade. During the installation of PHP a strange new message dialog will appear. This is totally normal and you can immediately figure out what's going on by simply reading the instructions on screen. A new version of the php.ini file is available and during the upgrade the system recognized that our currently installed version of that file was added. We have a bunch of options available to deal with that and most of the times I like to select the option to show a side-by-side -side difference between the versions. In this case though we cannot do that because the php.ini file is too big and our shell can't handle it. The commonly recommended action would be to start a new shell to create a backup copy of our version of that file and then proceed by installing the new version to then deal with the edits, checking the differences and be sure that the new things are properly installed. I also like to check what are those edits and differences to see if it's really worth creating a backup file. Let's select the option show the differences between the versions. The prompt will display only the differences between the two files in order for us to analyze them and not the entire file. Some prefix symbols like plus and minus will be applied to the section that will be removed and those that will be added. And if you have a bit of experience with Git or another version control system, you'll notice the similarities. By analyzing the file, I'm noticing that the only major difference is the change that will affect the cgi.fixpathinfo option, which I edited in the previous video. All the other edits and changes are not affecting sections I specifically customized. At this point, I'm confident enough to allow the new version of this file to be installed. Let's hit tab to focus on the OK option and hit enter. Let's now select the first option to install the package maintainers version. The new version of PHP was installed and we can see which file have been replaced in the last output of the prompt. Let's sudo nano into that file to update once again at only option we want it to be different, in my case the cgi.fixpathinfo. After that let's remember to restart PHP to let the system recognize the edits with the command sudo systemctl restart PHP 7.1 FPM. Of course, many other things could happen during an upgrade, like the version of PHP could change, or we could deal with a substantial rewriting of the config file. But no matter what roadblock you encounter, always remember that you can calmly inspect the differences, create a backup file, and take all the time that you need to do a research before taking any decision. The upgrading process will not force you to take a decision in few seconds. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.